Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Shane if you're new to the channel welcome and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like for today's video and let's get right into it. In today's video we are going to be working with the BMW E34 Touring. Nothing mechanical on this thing is going on today, but some uh, personal touches, some artistic touches are going to go down today. Since I 5-speed swapped this car, I had to make a metal surround for my shifter uh, because I couldn't find a good used one because they're just hard to find. So I made one out of metal just using an angle grinder, cutting pieces and whatnot, and I have now a piece of flat metal to do a piece of art on, and it's almost perfect. So guys, honestly, today I am winging it on this one. I have not really planned out what I'm doing for art on this, but we're going to see how it goes. And in case you guys are wondering what I mean exactly by artwork on a metal piece in my car, uh, it, probably, it probably, probably makes zero sense, but uh, this is what I'm talking about. This is that metal piece I've been talking about here that is going to, this houses my shifter. Uh, you guys saw a shot of it at the beginning of the video anyways. This uh, area here is just, uh, you know, spots you can put your phone or your snacks or whatever you want, you know. What I'm going to do is take this old, gross looking piece of rusty metal and I'm going to turn it into something nice and cool that will look nice in my car. And the way I'm going to be doing this is I just have like a bunch of random tools here. Heat is super important because it brings out some awesome colors in steel. And then I just have some random abrasives, wire wheels, grinders. Here's some circle templates that I'm going to be using. Some various bits for my Dremel. A Dremel wand here because this makes it a whole lot easier to actually draw with rather than trying to pick this up and draw with that. What's the garage without shop tell? This just came in super handy. Uh, I didn't actually have a piece of paper big enough, but got some shop tell. I'm going to be using this as just like a template to quickly draw the rough idea of what I want to transfer to the actual metal. This is my beautiful drawing. It's um, hopefully going to look better than this on my metal piece. Shit. So this is my lovely drawing I got here that I'm going to transfer onto there using the Dremel. First things first, I'm going to get this thing cleaned up with a wire brush and also a scotch bright so that we can get this surface uh, rust free and nice and clean to start doing our art on. In case you're wondering what this is, it's a metal chuck that I'm going to be using to see if we can lift it up. It's a magnet chuck, sorry. Boom. Now it's on there so that's going to keep this nice and sturdy for when I go and draw on it and when I'm prepping it. Now that I got my metal nice and shiny clean, look at that, no more rust. I'm going to go ahead and take my propane torch here and start adding uh, some color to this piece.
All right, guys, we're making progress on this uh, little piece here we got going. I'm honestly not that happy on how it's going, but I'm gonna get her done anyways. So I'm gonna show you what I've done so far. So there are a few more little touches I wanna add to it and I'm gonna give it a little bit of a satin or whatever clear coat I have really. And I'll go ahead and throw it in the car and uh, see what it looks like all finished up. But for now I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little moon in there and maybe some like bedrock at the bottom kind of deal. So let's see how that goes. Well, it looks like I have finished up with this piece here. Um, not my best work but let's take a look at it. I have made a video on a similar piece like this on my drift car for the gauge panel. So if you'd like to check out that video as well, the link will be a card. I'll put a card up here and you can uh, find that video and take a look at that too. Let's go ahead and get this thing clear coated. Uh, see how it looks after it's clear coated. Put some light on it at different angles and we get some different shots of it. So let's give her. Finish my piece, it's got some clear coat on it drying still right now. It looks similar to what I've drawn here, I guess. Actually, it looks better, I think, <laughs> luckily. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the car and we can see what it looks like with the shifter. quite difficult to get the right lighting and actually catch all of what it actually looks like in person. You get the gist of it, it's in the car. I think it looks pretty good now that it's in the car. I'm pretty happy with it. And if you guys do like this type of work on metal, my dad, his company is called The Raven Iron. I'll link it down below. He makes some amazing pendants, uh, money clips, earrings, stuff like that. So definitely check out his website in the link below. I wouldn't be able to do this if he didn't teach me how to do it. Well, I think today's video is gonna be quite a bit shorter than usual. I didn't film a lot of the process of me doing the art because, you know, you got to keep something secret, right? Or else everybody's going to be doing this and it won't be cool anymore. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like the actual video. Like, if you liked it, you got to press like or else it doesn't count. So like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more videos on the wagon and the drift car is coming in the garage very soon. I got to get to work on that ASAP. Basically, that is it for today's video, guys, and we will catch you guys later.